he got you. Amen. If you take your joy, he got you. Amen. Next time you see yourself looking like a potty mouth, that answer is saying, where your joy? And yeah. start laughing. <laughs>
you are become a carnal Christian. Now, notice we didn't say they weren't saved anymore. They're still saved, they're just carnal flesh eater, going by these things right here. So what's wrong with that? From what you've learned, what's wrong with that? Yeah, what, what, what's, what's wrong with it? Nothing was money. Money, money, money. And we talked about his job. Yes. Yes, Dave. What's wrong with being carnal? Huh? Yes, but what's bad about that? What's wrong with that? He's still saying? Ezekiel. I can't hear you. Yeah, but what's wrong with that? He's still saying, so hey. What's wrong with it? Walter? The mind will never be saved. The mind will never be saved. That's right. We did learn that, but that's not the answer. His mind will never be saved. No. Your mind will never be saved. I can put anybody's name up here y'all want. The mind will never get saved. Amen. What's wrong with him being a carnal Christian? James. Because he's serving two masters. Yes, he is. You're hot. I'll give a hint. The scripture is in James. Ezekiel. You can't hear, you can't hear God or do what God called him to do? That's right. That's true. He can't do what God called him to do. The main thing is he's going to live miserable. He's never going to get where God wants him to get. Remember we talked about what? What is this reminder? the devil. No? What do we talk about? Dog chase tail. Dog chase tail. How many Christians do we know? Dog live a dog chase tail. I'm a repent God, and I'm a do better God, and I'm a do this God, and I'm a do this God. And remember? We said they're dog chase tail. They never come out of it because the mind is never going to let them out. Amen. You cannot defeat your mind on you. Amen. Okay? Um, no. The Bible says meditate on the word. Amen. Okay? Meditate on the word, get it, man. Amen. Clear your mind, far eastern things. You say meditate, clear your mind. Um, Buddhism, they chant. Um, that's not going to do your mind, ain't your mind? The devil say, yeah, okay. Uh -huh. That's cool. What else you got? Remember we talked about he's a, now become a dog chase tail Christian. He can't come out of this. We can't come out of this on our own. We we'll want to come out. He wants in his spirit, the super part of him, he wants to come out because the Holy Spirit is constantly trying to talk to John. So John's miserable because, and in James it says a wavering. And then it says double-minded. Mm -hmm. Spirit man, he said. Remember we talked about how many beings are we? Three. Three. And what are the three? God, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. No. Mind. 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 Soul. Mind. Soul. Soul. Body. Soul. Spirit. 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 Where's the soul? In your mind. Because the word soul means sukos. Remember we talked about that? The Greek word sukos meaning mind. Okay? It's the word where we get the word derivative psychiatry. Uh, sukos is spelled S E U. So it doesn't get spelled like it sounds because it's from the Greek. Sukos in um, put up Romans 12, 1, 2, I believe. No, 12, 2, thank you. Which talks about the transforming and the renewing of your mind. mind okay? And then we're going to look at um, double minded. Double minded. Double minded. Put them on. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you for your heal. Heal. Double minded. Double minded. Are you double-minded? Let's let's find out. Okay. Are you double-minded? Right there is the same word 
Um, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay? <clears throat> that word, if you do your research, it'll take you right back to Sukkos. Okay? Amen. All right? Amen. Amen. All right. So now I want you to go to James 1.8. Because it's so important, this lesson, we're seeing it deliver us. Amen? Amen. Amen? We're seeing it change us from carnality to spirit. John was so happy, golly. And he's still going to church every now and then. Carnal Christians, stop being faithful. Because the other part of them won't allow it. Okay? Read that. Read it. Come on, let's read. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. In what ways? All his ways. In what ways? All his ways. John right now is a double-minded man. Uh -huh. He's saved, but he's not being led by the Spirit. He's being led by what? His mind. His mind. And when you're led by your mind, you're going to constantly go to the dog chase chair. Tail. Okay? Double-minded. So you need to be asking yourself, as I'm teaching, Bishop's teaching, are, am I a double-minded person? Amen. 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 Am I, have I allowed the enemy to talk to me through my mind to cause my focus to get off God? And get on things. Amen. 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 He's very unhappy. Um, have I allowed the devil to talk to my mind? Amen. Uh -huh. And see, the Bible says, give Satan no place. So it only takes, I'm telling you guys, a hair of feelings. And most Christians, either because they haven't been taught or they don't want to hear it, function in this realm. Amen. And they base what they do on feelings, emotions. Yes. He motions, she motions. Mm -hmm. Our feelings, what they hear, uh -huh. you know, they and what they see. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's fine. And based on them, it's how they live. Uh -huh. It doesn't really matter what God says to the carnal Christian. Because the carnal Christian has become saturated in their mind with the things of this world. Yes. Amen. Amen. And so, they're going to live a miserable life on earth. Now, the main problem with this double-minded person, they're not going to stay there forever. Amen. Because the Bible says God will turn them over. Amen. 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 To a reprobate mind. Amen. God's not going to play this game forever. Amen. Amen. Okay. Yeah. It's, because the carnal saint, the main thing they will not do and stick with it is repentance. Amen. Because here's one of the spirits that God hates that carnal Christians walk in. Yes. Amen. It's the only place, only thing in the Bible God says he hates. Amen. That's right. His pride. Amen. Amen. And Amen. any kind of Christian, I don't care who it is, you'll find them walking in self Amen. and in pride. Amen. Even if they do repent, well, it ain't my fault. I just don't see it. Amen. I just don't believe it. I, I just can't give with it. Feel, hear, see. Amen. Amen. You have to understand that your eyes and your ears are Amen. gateways, open entities. Amen. 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 Remember we talked about last week what the real heart of you is, right here. Heart meaning core, the core. When you die, it will not be because your heart stops. 
It'll be because brain waves have stopped on the brain. Amen. And that's what they're looking for when you're inspiring. They, they, the heart is stopped, but when the brain stops, that's when they say you've expired. Amen. They use a nice term. The, the shell is dead. Amen. Okay, the shell is dead because the CPU, the hard drive, the core of who you are has stopped sending signals. Yes. Okay, they'll say he's brain dead. Amen. Amen. And if you allow him to keep, we're keeping the shell alive, but the brain is dead. And if we continue to keep him in a false state or her of alive, the brain begins to swell. And they, have, they will have to cut the cranium or the skull so that the brain will have room. At that point, this person is for all clinical reasons dead. They're being kept alive artificially. Amen. And one thing you ought to be have is a DNR if you don't want to be resuscitated. If you don't want this, then you need to get, uh, have a DNR, living will, that says do not resuscitate, DNR. If you want to be resuscitated, that's fine. If you want to use all measures, it's a personal issue. It has nothing to do with sin, okay? Yeah. It's what you personally want. And that ought to be somewhere that people know. Amen. Amen. Even for children. Amen. Oh, God, me, Pastor. Yes. Children that can take, what do they want? They want to go to heaven? Or do they want to try to stretch it out and stay here as long as they can? So even in the world, they know this is the core of you. Amen. 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 This is what causes everything to work right. Amen. When anything goes wrong here, it affects the whole body. Amen. 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 When anything goes wrong here, it affects the whole body. Amen. When things go right here, it affects the mind. Yes. Because the mind will rebel. When I told y'all to laugh, there were people who didn't do it at all. It's openly disobedient. But that doesn't move me because you got to answer to him. You ain't got to answer to me. Amen. You know, obedience is better than sacrifice. Amen. And they didn't laugh because they didn't. Depending on the line. That's right. They weren't, your boys weren't laughing at first. They were looking at me like I was clean. <laughs> you know, because if I don't feel you, why should I do it? Because we're used to living by our feelings. Our hearing, our seeing, our smell, yeah. our emotions. Yeah. We're, we're just so used to that. And we have not come to realize, or we don't want to accept the fact that this is where trouble comes. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Sex does not start in your penis or vagina. Amen. Sex yeah. starts in your mind. Yeah. There is a pinhead liquid that is dropped on the pituitary gland of the brain and it ignites a sexual thought and desire. Everything is right here. Yes. Of this world. Amen. Everything for you to have victory is down here. Amen. Your spirit man, Mr. Superman. Amen. And he is only activated by the word. Amen. He's not activated by anything else but the word of God. So. My question is, when trouble comes like it came to John, are you a kind of Christian? Are you double-minded? Mm -hmm. Go to James 1, 6. Are you a carnal Christian? And in these last days, there are plenty of them, but sadly, because Christians run after the stuff instead of after God. Amen. It's more important they have money in their pocket than they have the word in their spirit. I like that. I'm going to say that again. It's more important that they have money in their pocket than the word in their spirit. Why? Because they don't have... Up here is... This is important. No faith. Yes. There is no faith in this realm. What is up here is hope. That's why people gamble and whatnot, because they have hope. But they don't have faith. Well, Pastor, what's the difference? Hope is first cousin to faith. Amen. Amen. You cannot have faith for anything not based on the Word of God, because it's going to end. 
Y'all are hearing me. It's going to end. It's temporary. Uh -huh. It's temporary. Okay? So, you all, uh, well, I hope so. You hear a lot of people say, I hope so. Even say, uh, God loves you. Well, I hope so. I'm like, ooh. Because they are up here. I understand they're in their mind. There is no faith up here. That's why people don't hold out. Because they go to the mind realm instead of going to the spirit. Amen. But see, you got to be able to quote the word to yourself Amen. to build up, the Bible says, your most holy Amen. faith. Amen. So if you're not consistently, constantly getting the word, uh, it's why the Bible says, fail not to assemble yourselves together amen. as some have and they have fallen amen. from the faith. Amen. Now we're living in an age where people say, well, I watched it on TV. I told y'all last week, you give 15 to 20 minutes. Count it off if you want. It's commercial. They do commercials. They're selling. It's nothing wrong with that. They're selling their videos. They're selling, yeah, 30 minutes. And 30, 29 minutes on the head, they're going to shut you off, and there's going to be a commercial for that channel. Mm -hmm. You can go back and count it if you like. So you're getting 15, 20 minutes of the word to live off of. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Plus, you are not getting the word that God situated for you. Amen. 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 Well, you know, Pastor, why does God allow TV guns? Because it's a booster hit. Yes. That's all it is, is a booster hit, a booster uh -huh. shot. God did not ordain television, and I, was, I know that God knew television was coming. All good and precious things come from above. Amen. He did not ordain television to pastor you. Oh, wait, see how quiet you get. But we're living in a day and age that the Bible says everyone will do what's right in his own mind. Now, remember I told you we don't see with our We see with our All this is is like a telescope. It takes picture, and the picture is really upside down. That's how they learned how to make cameras. I told you that last week. And the brain flips the picture over and says, that's Deacon Riddick. Right. And the Bible says, people, what the Bible is saying is in the last days, people will go by what they see, what they hear, what they feel, what's in their mind. Because yes. see, their mind, they'll tell them, you're grown, you got good comments. Says anybody going to tell you what to do? Yes. But you're living this life. Amen. Amen. But the devil won't allow you to see you're not prospering. Amen. 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 Okay, how much for a carnal saint? They are doomed. I don't care how much money they make. I don't care how many jobs they work. Mm -hmm. I don't care how much. Let me tell y'all something else you're not going to like. Uh, I don't care how much you pray, sing, shout, dance. Uh -huh. If you are not living this, you are a carnal Christian. Amen. Amen. It's not by works that we are saved. Uh -huh. It's by the word. Amen. It's not by works. It's by the word. It's by the word. And that's what a teaching bishop has been doing. We've got to speak the word. Amen. Over every son. Acknowledge me in all your ways. And I will direct your path. But we're not asking him. we asking this. Amen. 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 And so we end up in a dog chase tail situation because we will not bow to the will of God. Amen. I need the oil. I need the oil. I need the yeah. yeah. I need the People say, well, Bishop and Pastor just won't quit. Um, you know why we don't quit? Because I'm like Peter at this point in my life. Jesus said, Jesus had 70 disciples. And when he started talking about, I'm going away, I'm going to die, and I'm going to come back in three days, they started leaving him. Mm -hmm. When people started turning on them, they started leaving Jesus. That's why I'm not moved by people coming and going to church. Because they, if they did it to the Son of God, I know who am I. They're going to do it to me. Mm -hmm. Say amen. 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 See, when you're a real leader, you're not moved. Amen. Otherwise, you become double-minded. 
Yeah. People are have you looking at them going, yeah. what in the yeah. world? Yeah. No, 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 thank you, Jesus. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. no. Yeah. I don't really care what y'all do. Amen. Yeah. 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 I'm watching people's spirit. Because yeah. the word says, cast mine yeah. on him. Yeah. So I don't carry stuff around. Yeah. 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 Okay. Deacon Williams and I were talking about something, it was last week, and um, twice I asked him about it, it's okay now, and I ain't really ministered to me, he don't know it till this morning. He said, I gave it up, and, and, and two different times, he said it, and every time he said it, my spirit went, woo! Amen. So I didn't say anything at the time, and I went back to God, I said, okay. What are you telling him? He said, why are you asking him about it? Huh? Obviously, you're more concerned mm -hmm. uh -huh. than he is, and you're not supposed to annoy as he be. Yeah. He's giving it to me, and he don't give a flip. Yeah. He said, and that's how come I can take it and do something with it. Yeah. Now, as long as he had it, yeah. I couldn't do nothing with it. Yeah. But if he just leave it at my feet, I'm a hand to yeah. 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 He said, now, you got it? I said, I got it. He said, well, you just got promoted again. I said, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. But he would say it. Amen. I gave it to God. I, I mean, he would say it with such defiance. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I gave it to God, as I ain't worried about it. Amen. Amen. And I said, well, what about, Pastor, I gave it to God. Amen. I ain't worried about that. Amen. Now allow me to tell to bring it back to my mind. Amen. Amen. Either God is God and he got it in. I'm going to live like God tell me to do. Amen. I'm going to do what God tell me to do. Amen. Amen. I'm going to do what God tells me to do. And see that, for some of y'all, that's a hard pill to swallow because you're carnal. And you are more important. But when you get to the point that you are a servant, you know, you go to the restaurant, does the servant tell you what to order? They offer suggestions. They say you're going to have a steak. No. No. What would you do if they did? <laughs> huh? What would y'all do? <laughs> Look at them like he's crazy. I'd ask for the manager. Your, your waiter, your servant, is telling me what I'm going to eat. And I'm paying for it, but your servant, y'all don't. Your servant Good. is telling me uh, what I'm going to eat, but he expects me to pay for me. Uh, on, Jesus now. paid the oh, price. Amen. Uh -huh. Well, we tell him what we're going to do, uh -huh. but we ain't going to do it. Come on, Come on Jesus. Jesus. Amen. All right. Amen. All right. I'm just letting this sink in. Uh, we are supposed to be servants that they a sacrificial. I was talking with Brother Davis. It's amazing me how God speaks. People don't even know God is using them. God just teaches me all day long. And I believe there's no power in the back. I'm just tuned in. Because I think he talks to everybody just on tuned in. And uh, Brother Davis and I were talking. And um, I said, well, you know, um, da 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 I was supposed to go on this weekend. He said, well, I told my job. And I told the brothers, Amen. whatever the men do it this weekend, I'm there. Amen. Amen. So it and, and my spirit went, mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I asked Brother Ezekiel to do something. And I don't even remember what it was a couple of days ago. And he said, um, did you say it's a sacrifice? Or so I'm a servant? Something like that. Then I asked um, Samantha, I said, um, asked her about two different things. I said, which one do you want to do? She said, I'll do whatever, Pastor. Uh -huh. Whatever is needed of me, that's what I'm going to do. She kind of frowned at me like, what's wrong with you? And each time those situations happened, I was like, ooh, ooh. 
Because out of the abundance of your heart, yes. Yes, your mouth yes. speaks. Amen. 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 What you're full of is what's going to come out. Amen. And, and you can't help it. Good. I'm telling you now. You cannot help it. That's why the Bible says, by their fruit, you will know them. Yes. You know orange tree because it produces orange. Amen. You know apple tree because it produces apples. Amen. 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 I mean, when it's in its dormant state, let's say in the winter, unless you're a tree expert, you know, country folk will look at a tree and say, that's a peach tree. You know, God help you if you wait on me today. I, I need the fruit to come out. Amen. For me to say, oh, there goes some apples. There goes some peaches. God says, and see, that takes time. Yeah. I've learned that. I've learned to wait on people and watch them. Yeah. You know, I just watch. Love them and watch them. That's all. I told leadership, the hardest thing you're going to have as a leader is God won't let you see the heart of these men. God, God will let you see the real deal. And then he says, love them anyhow. Amen. Amen. Pray for them anyhow. Even though they act like a mule, Pray for them anyhow. Yeah. Even though they're wandering, they're double-minded, they're carnal, yeah. pray for them. Because your prayers may be the only thing that I can send out Amen. to hopefully speak to them Amen. and get them to come back to Amen. me before I have to turn them over. Amen. The Bible talks about a reprobate or sin mind. Saul is a perfect example. Uh -huh. God got fed up uh -huh. with yeah. his disobedience. Uh -huh. And Saul immediately began to have my great hands. The prophet told him, said it would have been better to obey yes. than to sacrifice. Yes. So I'll sacrifice because he was a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. God told him to go into the town and kill everybody. Women, children, everybody. Sometimes the place is so diseased there is no hope. So yes. God said kill everything. Amen. But he had been friends, excuse me, with Ahab, the king. Uh -huh. He wasn't going to kill his buddy. He wasn't going to kill his buddy's wives. Amen. He wasn't going to kill his buddy's children. Uh -huh. you know, we buddies. And Bishop and I tell people, you need to cut some folk loose. Uh -huh. And that demon of their mind quick to get an attitude. Yes. I don't care if it's your family. Uh -huh. They ain't living right cutting loose. Love right. them from a distance. From a distance. Uh -huh. um, and Saul didn't obey God. Saul had been worshiping other gods, you know, like some of y'all do, your jobs, your money, your houses, your right, cars, right. your children, your right. wives, your right. husbands. Uh -huh. You worship them more than God. Amen. Oh, yeah. Amen. 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 So when God told Saul to do something, he didn't do it. He brought them back. Uh -huh. He brought some back their goods, the gold and the silver and stuff, yeah, which yeah. was normal in a battle to bring it back. But God oh. told him not to. Amen. 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 So the prophet came to him and said, it would have been better to obey God uh -huh. than what you won't sacrifice. Amen. And immediately Saul began to have migraines, severe migraines. Only thing would stop them was David, who he hated, because uh -huh. God had called David to be the next king. Amen. 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 And pride killed Saul. People pleasing and pride killed Saul. But it didn't kill Saul. It killed his child. Amen. And Jonathan had done no wrong. Mm -hmm. But Jonathan had to pay. David uh, sinned, refused to repent till the prophet came to him. And God said, your son will live one year. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take him back. That's the price you're going to pay. Mm -hmm. That's the price you're going to pay. Because it would be better to obey than to sacrifice. Than to sacrifice. Amen. This will cause you to sacrifice. Amen. That's what's bad about being a carnal Christian. Uh -huh. Now you're mad, evil, moody. Because See, let me explain something to you. The devil yes. will let you ride. Yes. So when people backslide, when people, and people can backslide and be in the church. Amen. Amen. The church, they here, but the church ain't now. Amen. Amen. The Spirit of Christ ain't doing nothing, man, for making them miserable. Amen. Um, the devil lets you ride for a while. But then, he gonna make you pay. Amen. Amen. I got this and I got that and I'm doing this. See, that's the problem. 
God's not getting any glory. You're not saying, God bless me to yes. do so and so and so, and God made a way for this, yeah. that, and the other. I, 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 I. Uh -huh. When you get focused on I, you are focused on sin. Oh, yes. Amen. Oh, yes. When you are focused on Jesus, Thank you, Lord. you are focused on glory. Thank you, Lord. Amen. you will prosper. Go to, Thank um, you, Lord. where is that scripture? Just popped in my spirit. All right, read that one, please. Read that again. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Read it again. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. Read the rest. For he that wavereth is like the wave of the sea, driven with the wind and falls. Think about some of your lives. Wavering, double mind, you just tossed all around. Uh -huh. The devil having a field day. See, because the devil will put a hook in your mind. Oh, yes. Yes, you will. He'll be leading you around like a little straight puppy on a rope. Uh -huh. And you don't say a part about it, you don't even recognize it. Go to 3rd John 1 2. Thank you. you won't even recognize it. Because your mind, look how your mind has gotten up here. Look at it. Yeah, it's all clouded up. You can't hear God. The Word of God gets on your nerves. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. You don't want to hear that mess. Uh -huh. I'm trying to figure out how we going to make it. I know. We got time. I'm taking care of my kids. They don't want me coming, sitting up in no church. I need to make money. Okay, your money is going to come and it's going to go. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. And some of you don't believe it. Some of you know it and won't say yes, ma'am, or amen, because you're walking in pride, but you ain't got to, because I know it's true. Yes, amen. Amen. Your money, your stuff. Uh -huh. And don't change that. Amen. You look at your life, and your life hasn't moved on or prospered from where it was last time, this time. You need to take a hard look. Oh, yeah. Because of the word. Amen. Because of the word. Amen. It has prospered constantly. Uh -huh. We were some of the leaders, or oh, all of us, with Bishop. Bishop came out of the We were out in the lobby and we were looking at the um, picture of the ministry and the property. And I was just standing there thinking where we came from. Yes. Thank you, Lord. And I know it's because of God. Amen. Amen. And I thought about my own life, Bishop, and my life. Thank you, Lord. And how far we have come in our lives. Yes. Because of God. I don't, I, because, and because of that, I don't really allow. You hear what I said? I don't allow myself to worry or fear. Amen. 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 No. Thank you, Lord. I really don't allow it. I didn't Amen. say it doesn't come. Uh -huh. No weapon. Oh. So it's going to form. I mean, uh -huh. worry's going to come. Yes. Fear's going to come. Yes. Nobody's immune. Yes. But the Bible says you will not be tempted beyond what you can handle. Uh -huh. yes. But you got to handle it through the word. word. So when you speak the word, when you get up, when you feel that spirit, you're going to feel it before you hear it. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Yeah. You'll feel fear uh -huh. before you go. Amen. Uh-huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Amen. Remember one night, I think Bishop was out there, you know it was way before that. That's why I go, all of a sudden, and, and I'm very, very rarely alone, which I'm glad of. Uh -huh. uh, and I teach the women, you need to be escorted. Amen. You don't need to be out in this hellacious world by yourself. Yeah. Amen. And I, I was going home. I don't know where Bishop was, but he was somewhere. And it was late night. I, oh, he was down here with the men. And I said, I'm tired. I'm going home. I've had it. Uh -huh. And I was went home. I pulled up in the driveway. And we have a light that if the car is in a certain place, it'll come on even before you get out. Uh -huh. And then Bishop put another light because we have an alcove at our front door. So that as soon as you come around, 
from the path, the walkway, that light comes on. It helps you see the keyhole. And, so you're not, I'm not in the dark. Amen. 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 And the light didn't come on. Amen. And I immediately looked like this and I felt fear. Now, I don't live in that kind of neighborhood. Amen. I mean, the enemy could attack anywhere. But it would be a very, very, very rare occurrence uh -huh. for somebody to, to be in the neighborhood and do what they do. People yeah. are watching, and, and people yeah. in our neighborhood just live different. Yeah. I'm not trying to make it sound all that, but, but it's quiet. People go to bed. Uh -huh. You know, we're probably the latest people getting home. Uh -huh. You know, their house, seriously, their houses are dark. Might see the TV lights coming through the curtain, but that's about it. Amen. They go, everybody's gone in the morning. Mm -hmm. Everybody come home at nine. Mm -hmm. They go to bed. They get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. Saturday they're cutting grass. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. So I'm getting out my car, and I felt fear. And I immediately said, "What?" And I immediately caught the thought, and I said, the blood of Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it left. Yeah. And I laughed. I said, thank you, Lord. Uh -huh. Thank you, I know how to fight. Amen. Thank you, I know. You didn't make thank me afraid. God. God gave me my home. Amen. Yeah, if you think you're going to have me all caught up in the of what God gave me, you better tell it. Even if somebody was there. Amen. Uh -huh. I remember y'all, the new saints, except for the ones that were here when they saw us, uh, Brother Tinker putting that door, there was a window where that door was, and Bishop had sheetrocked it up, but um, behind the sheetrock that used to be there was a window, and it was broke, and we had put duct tape on it, mm -hmm. and that was before we had put the bars on the window. It's one of the reasons why we did. We don't know what happened. Somebody broke in. They never came in any farther than that book. It was a little hole right there. They never came any farther than that. And the Lord spoke to us and said, an angel of the Most High God yeah. scared them off. Yeah. I mean, they could have came in and took everything. Yeah. But they never got any farther. And I would often look at that place in the sheet rock, and when they took it, Tinker took, the, took it down to put up the door, I had to smile. Cause, and I think I said to him, I said, there's the window. There's the window where God moves. So I I know, I know. See, y'all, some of y'all are at the hope stage. Some of you are at faith stage. Some of you are then at the belief stage. I'm at the no stage. Paul said, I know in whom I believe. See, I, I have a knowing. Now, does things come? Yes, they do. Yes, but my spirit man is bigger than that. Yeah. Oh, y'all better hear Because And see, let me say this, because I hear the devil. No, I'm not pro pro promoting me. You're in the flesh. Amen. Get out your mind. Get in your spirit. Amen. I know who I believe in. Yes. Amen. So none of these things. Ooh. Amen. It took um, almost February, March, April, May, June, July. It took six months to get a simple building permit. And I know that it's because he doesn't like what we're doing. Okay? And I know it's predominantly about the souls. Bishop ministered to a man tonight, last, today, last week, I got, God gave me the privilege of ministering to a man who was going home and killed himself, and he came to church and got the living. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank that's a privilege. Amen. 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 That's a privilege. Amen. I'm a servant. Thank Amen. You, Whenever he say go for it, Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going for it. Amen. Amen. But I know who I believe in. Amen. I know. I see I don't have that is that God or is not. If it's good it's God. If it's bad it ain't. Amen. Amen. And I know when bad situations come, I know who my enemy is. Amen. Yes. Amen. People get upset with people when they're acting in the flesh. 
I don't. Amen. I don't. I start talking to them the word. Now, either the word will come up in them and they'll bring itself back down, Amen. or I'm dealing with a full-fledged, unsaved, heathen, well, uh -huh. barbarian, yes. and I'm just going to say the blood. Good. And Amen. I ain't going to spend a whole lot of time talking. I don't Amen. spend a whole lot of time talking to Egypt. Oh, y'all don't hear me. Amen. Amen. The Bible said God hear not the prayers uh -huh. of a sinner. Amen. So yeah. I'm going to spend time. See, what God has given me, you can't pay me for. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. It's super valuable. See, I know me. See, one part of the way the devil gets you is you see you through this. Yeah. Yeah. Instead yeah. of seeing you through yeah. what God yeah. says about you. Yeah. 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 The Bible says we're little gods in the earth. Yeah. Yeah. Little gods yeah. with a small g in the earth and the children of God. Yeah. Let me find you some of y'all. It's what? Psalms? 32, 60. 30, 32, 60. No, 82. 82. Is that 82, 6 or 86? 86, 2, no. 82, 6. Thank God. Yeah, that's it. 82, 6. Somebody go there. Go there. Yeah. It should say 826. Let's go. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, I ain't going to stand up here. Y'all don't know the word. Thank you, Lord. So you question. You ought to just. See, that's nothing. That's, um, look at me for a minute. This is total rebellion <laughs> against this. I'm going to close with that scripture. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. These are enemy to each other. Yeah. Yeah. This is dog and cat. Uh -huh. That's right. Uh -huh. All right? Amen. They're never going to come in agreement. This is oil and water. Yeah. They're never going to come in agreement. Amen. Amen. You're either going to follow this or you're going to follow this. Amen. Amen. Turn the light out. Who went there? You didn't go there? Why you didn't go there, Samantha? Psalms 82 6. Turn it on. Turn it on. Turn it on. <coughs> you either in darkness or you in light. And, and let me warn you, when you're talking to people, I had our um, new formed intercessors group today watch a film that I'm going to have this summer camp. I've had that film for about 10 or 12 years, and it is super anointed. And it's, it's about an intercessory prayer. And he gets discouraged. Young man gets discouraged. He his parents pray for him for five years to get saved. Yeah. He does. Then he prays for a minute for his friends, uh -huh. and he gets discouraged because they don't get saved. This is what their mind is doing. Amen. Okay, you're talking the word, but they're here and trying to go with that. And you don't need to be listening to that. You need to go. You gotta go make some money. You need to go to work. You don't need to be in this garbage. That's good for him, but it don't work for you. You need to just tell him you don't want to hear. Tell him to shut up. Tell him to shut up. You don't want to hear. Him. Tell him to shut up. Tell him to leave you alone. Get out of your face. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. They're hearing the chatter of demons. You need to do hey, you grown. You know what you're doing. You're a grown man. You're a grown one. He telling you you got this and that. That's good for pastor. That's good for bishop. That ain't got nothing to do with you. Tell him to shut up. Tell him to get out your face. Don't believe you, you're alone. I'm telling you what to do. Go ahead, man. Hey, Jesus. Praise him. something. And they come out their mouth to you and you shut down. No, and the devil says, Victory! Uh -huh. They want you to shut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because they yeah. know the word has life. Amen. Amen. And if you keep talking word to them, uh -huh. you know God loves you. Yes, yes, you know yes. you need to obey the word of God. Yes. Demons are screaming while you're talking to them. Uh, yes. yes, but you can't hear them. All right. Now, if you want to hear, ask God. He'll let you hear. Uh, yes. But it's an unbelievable sound. Yes. Okay. They know this is going to happen. Amen. Amen. And they're going to have to leave and find another home Amen. because the word has come. Thank you, Lord. Amen. So when the word comes, 
Now John has joy again. Amen. Amen. He has peace. Amen. When you're in the Word and you're reading the Word and yes. you're living it, yes. you have a peace that people just can't understand. That's right. I know. It doesn't matter anymore what's going on. Amen. 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 It just doesn't matter because you got peace now. Amen. That passes all understanding. Amen. Because somebody talked the word. And now the word is filling the mind and forcing out all those spirits that's not of God. You're no longer carnal, now you're the same. Thank you. Did we find that scripture? Amen. Yeah. Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High God. Amen. Amen. You're little gods in the earth. Amen. You're put here to do the work for God. Amen. You're servants. Amen. You're servants. Amen. Amen. Gave you, Jehovah Ghost gave you a perfect illustration. Go to a restaurant and somebody tell you what you're going to uh -huh. eat. You, you won't tell them, hopefully, in a nice way. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay? How dare you do that to Jesus? Amen. You were going to pay for that bill, so is nobody going to tell you what to do. How come you think Jesus, who paid with his life, you have a right to tell him? Come on now. Come on now. Go ahead. Come on now. Jesus paid it all. Yes. All to him I owe. Sin had left the crimson. Stay. He washed me. <laughs> yes. He washed me. Yes. He washed me white yes. as snow. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Ye are children of God. Amen. Amen. Therefore, because you've been born again, Amen. you're a God. Amen. Amen. Because you came from the God. Amen. Amen. That was good. Y'all didn't get it. Amen. Amen. When you get born again, yes. you're no longer Lois. That's why you had to change Abram and Sarah to Abraham yes. and Sarah. Amen. You gave them new names. <clears throat> gave them, that's why I call, we call people sister and brother. Yes. Amen. Amen. They come in from the world. You don't call people by burn and sin and uh -huh. all that. No, 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 no. I'm sister bias. Amen. Amen. I'm sister bias. Amen. Amen. I'm changed now. Amen. I ain't dog no more. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I ain't dog no more. Thank you, Lord. And I'm not ashamed to tell you, look, bro, I mean no offense, but I'm not dog. I'm Amen. not your dog. Amen. And I'm not your bro if you're not saved. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I'm not your hoe no more. I'm not your homie. Come on. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm a God in here. Amen. 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 And I take my orders from my daddy. Yeah, Who's the big guy? Yeah. And his orders come to my spirit. Yeah. They don't come to me. I don't live, live by this. I send this up to this. Yeah. So when thoughts come to this, I send the word up to this. Yeah. And this shuts up and do what this said to do. That's why I must study my word. Yes. That's why I must come to church, to the ministry, yes. Amen. Amen. so that I can get Amen. filled with this yes. in here, Amen. so I can send it up here, and out of the abundance of my heart, yes. my mouth will speak, Amen. and I will be blessed. Amen. But if the wrong thing is in abundance in my mind, uh -huh. that's what's going to come out of my mouth, and I can have whatsoever I say. Why we come to school? Yes. Amen. That we call BG. Amen. Amen. To get the work. Amen. And just stand up here teaching gets people's minds delivered. Amen. Because their mind woke up. Because all them spirits 
that was talking and having a good time up here. And the word I'm speaking. See, my words have a lie. And the light starts coming. Wait a minute. Oh, yeah. I did do that. Yeah, that did happen. That did happen.
But because of the blood, because of the word, we got victory. No weapon that is formed against us can prosper. Our battle is not with flesh and blood, but with principalities and spirits in high places in our minds, oh God. But we cast down imagination. We cast down every high thing that brings itself above against the word of God. The word of God is our weapon. Our mouth is our gun. And as we load those bullets into our spirit, into our mind, transform and renew our mind with the word of God and then out of the abundance of our mind, our heart, our core, our mouth will speak victory. We stab the enemy. We cut off his head. We cut off his feet at the knees with the word of God and he crawls away screaming into the abyss because we are the children of God. The little gods in the earth have spoken the word. Therefore, we are victorious over the enemy. We will not be led by our flesh, our mind, but we are led by the word of God. We will stand on the word of God. We will not look to our left nor our right, but we look unto the hill from whence cometh our help. We look to you, Lord Jesus, for knowledge, for wisdom, for guidance in what to do every day and how to do it. For we need you, oh 